Hey there everyone. So for the last two weeks, your Claremont firefighters have been training on live fire evolutions at Valencia's Central Florida Fire Institute in Orlando. Uh, we've been performing all the roles and responsibilities of our normal fire attack on a structural fire, except this time, uh, this go around was for three and four story multi-family apartment complexes, which here in the city, we have several of those. So this gives our people a chance in real time to respond to an incident and perform all of their functions as they normally would in the real world. So some of the things our people have been focusing on this week are first arriving and second arriving functions at a structural fire like this. So part of that encompasses the company officer giving a size up to let everybody know who's coming to the incident, what they've got, what type of smoke conditions. Um, they are expected to locate, confine, and extinguish the fire. Well, simultaneously, our search and rescue companies are performing what we call primary search. So they are finding the seat of the fire and they are working back searching for life. In these types of occupancies, there's a very high life hazard and that's going to be a very high priority for us. The afternoon session gave both of our crews the opportunity to feel the heat in a completely blacked out environment to where they have to search with their hands looking for victims and find the fire based on the sounds and the senses that they're using. As you know, parking is always a hot topic. We have many spaces in Claremont downtown. Between Osceola Street and DeSoto Street, for example, we have more than 350 street side parking spaces. 11 parking lots with more than 10 spaces. Six parking lots have more than 50 spaces and three have more than 100 spaces. We are about ready to open up the new parking lot on Osceola Street by the Claremont Historic Village, which will also add 99 spaces. So to answer the question about how many parking spaces there are downtown Claremont, it's more than a thousand. Down here on this new parking lot we're about ready to open, we put in a new storm system. All the storm water on the parking lot goes to the Victory Point to be treated, and the trash is taken through the storm scepter, which is a sun tree treatment. We have new landscape. We have eight new handicapped spaces up in the front, and eventually, we'll keep working on providing more and more facilities to downtown. The City of Claremont will be holding a special election on May the 14th to fill the remaining term of Council Seat 2. Two candidates have qualified for this seat, Todd Howard and Otis Taylor. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on May the 14th. If you do not know where you're voting, please visit www.lakevotes.com to find your polling place. And remember, your vote is your voice. See you there. It is certainly safe to say that spring has sprung in Claremont. Just look around at where we live, work, go to school, and perhaps most importantly, play. At Waterfront Park, you can launch your boat for a trip around the lake, or check out the docks where you can cast a line or just gaze into the horizon. Bring the kids to the beach where you can dip your toes or jump right into the glistening waters of Lake Mineola. Claremont's portion of the South Lake Trail runs along the shores of Lake Mineola and there is almost always a refreshing breeze. There's benches under shade trees and always lots of friendly faces. You can leisurely stroll or push a stroller with a small friend. Take a bike ride and stop for lunch. Easily rent a paddleboard or kayak for some time on the water. Walk your dog to the dog park at Lake Hiawatha Preserve and try your hand at disc golf while you're there or watch those who are already really good at the sport. A visit to the Claremont Historic Village is always fun and truly a step back in time. Those visits help to remind us of just how important the present is. Enjoy. Finally get to sit down and drink my coffee. I know. I haven't even had the chance yet. Well, I've been taking these all, briefing notes. First of all, what? you already got coffee without me. I did. I didn't know where you went. Why'd you go to Seven Brews? I thought we were going to Dutch Bros. You were supposed to meet me there. Because the coffee is fresher there. Their coffee is stronger at Dutch Bros. Okay. They don't have the same flavor. The flavors here are way better than Dutch Bros. We Absolutely always decide false. where we want to go together every morning. Well, I thought we decided on Dutch Bros yesterday because their coffee's stronger, they're a lot faster, they have just as many flavors, and they also have all the different types of milk. The flavors are more enhanced 
with their coffee. I don't think so. I think their coffee's much stronger, their espresso's better. They make their coffee with love. Yeah, but they make their coffee hot, and that's what I need in the okay, morning to wake up. Okay, it's still hot. That's why I haven't Do you see? It. Mine's steaming. That's why I haven't got... Well, mine's probably cold now because I've been sitting here taking these briefing notes because I was waiting on you and you went to Seven Brews. Well, sorry. I had to go run around the city of Claremont. I still think Dutch Bros is better. Honestly, Dutch Bros has... They've got different types of coffee. They've got blended coffee, iced coffee, hot coffee. They also have energy drinks with different flavors. So does Seven Brews. Let's agree to disagree. They're both great. Welcome, Welcome to, to Claremont. Claremont. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Keeping Up with Claremont. You can visit ClaremontFL.gov for more details or send an email to info at ClaremontFL.org. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and have fun.